everyone, my name's Alicia. I'm an elephant keeper here at the Houston Zoo. Uh, so we're here with some of our male Asian elephants today, and uh, they're gonna get some special treats to celebrate Asian Elephant Awareness Month this month, uh, as well as we're gonna kick off World Elephant Day a day early here. It's actually tomorrow, August 12th. Uh, so in the pool right now, we have one of our younger males, Duncan. Duncan is seven years old, and he was born here at the Houston Zoo. Uh, there's also two other boys in the yard with him. We're going to see if we can get them to join us in the pool here as well. So World Elephant Day, like I said, is tomorrow. And uh, it's a good time of year to help raise awareness about the decline of elephants as well as the threats that are facing them. So one of these threats is loss of habitat. Uh, so in 2019, the Houston Zoo helped support the replanting of 30,000 trees in Borneo's palm oil plantations. And this helped create safe paths and homes for wild elephants. Uh, elephants are also faced with human elephant conflict. Uh, so we have a, a partner uh, named Farina, who's been the zoo's elephant conservation partner for 10 years. She's studying the movement patterns of wild elephants, and this helps local communities and government agencies to re reduce the conflict between humans and elephants. So the zoo provides training and support for Farina and her uh, elephant protection work. Uh, so just by coming to the Houston Zoo, you're actually helping to save animals in the wild, uh, just like these elephants here in the pool. This is uh, Baylor who just joined Duncan in the water here. Baylor was also born here. Uh, he turned 11 years old in May. Uh, so they're getting some apples and uh, in just a minute, they're gonna get some watermelons as well. Nice uh, treat to help them cool off in these hot summer months here. Uh, so like I mentioned, uh, there is a decline in um, all wild elephant populations. All elephant species are considered endangered. Uh, there's about 400,000 African elephants left in the wild and only about 40,000 Asian elephants. Uh, so if you come see our elephants here at the zoo and you come over to the bachelor yard over here, uh, there's one big difference you might notice between these guys and uh, everybody over in the cow yard. These guys have those nice bright white tusks and uh, that is specific to male Asian elephants, unlike African elephants where both males and females will grow tusks. So he's not in the pool right now, but there's also uh, Another guy that lives with these two, uh, he's 16 years old, his name is Tucker. Uh, he's not actually related to either of these guys, but they live in their own little separate herd here, separate from the females. So elephants are gonna live in matriarchal herds. So that means they have uh, a dominant female and then um, other females and they'll have calves. And if those calves are male, once they start to reach adolescence, they will be forced from the herd and uh, they might form their own little bachelor groups or uh, spend most of their time solitary. So we try to uh, recreate that here as well. So it looks like it's uh, watermelon time for these guys. So we'll just throw the whole thing right in the pool and they'll use their uh, big brick sized molars to chomp right through those. So these guys have uh, four teeth at a time, one in each corner of their mouth. Like I said, they are about the size of a brick. They'll go through about six sets of these teeth in their life. Since they are herbivores and they grind a lot of plant material with those teeth, uh, they'll come right in behind each other and push pieces out. Uh, so we have a question from Tanya. She asks, is this a new exhibit? Um, so yes, this is a newer exhibit. It opened a few years ago. Um, with our growing herd here, we uh, wanted to make sure that we had a nice large space and a nice large pool for uh, all these growing boys that we have. Uh, at the Houston Zoo, we have all Asian elephants. Uh, we're up to 13 now. And the uh, youngest eight were all born here at the zoo.
So one of the ways that these guys like to cool off in the summer is to come for a nice swim. They're uh, not able to sweat in the same way that we are to help cool themselves off. Uh, so the pool is one of the options that they have. You might also notice uh, them covered in sand or mud. They'll cover their skin in that to help protect it from being sunburned and from uh, insect bites as well. So in addition to the watermelon, they're also getting apples here in the water. These are special treats that they don't get access to every day, so they get pretty excited about them. The majority of their diet here is gonna be hay and different types of browse, um, but we like to use extra special treats for them, especially when training. So things like apples, sweet potatoes, carrots, So I mentioned Tucker earlier. I'm not sure if you can see him, but he's uh, coming to join these guys in the water now. I just realized he was missing out on the uh, watermelons. So if you're just joining us, uh, we're celebrating World Elephant Day a day early. Uh, if you'd like to help make sure that uh, these guys continue to have space in the wild. Um, one thing you can do is come visit them here at the Houston Zoo. Portion of um, all ticket sales go towards conservation programs that help these guys in the wild. So Tucker is our second largest male here. He's uh, the biggest guy in this yard right now. Uh, and then if you see our uh, adult male Thailand, he's even larger than him. Uh, he usually is more likely to see him uh, in the afternoons. Ty has been here since the early 80s and he's the father of most of our young elephants here. He also recently became a grandfather. His daughter Tupelo had uh, her first calf, Winnie, in March of this year. So these boys are not full grown yet. Usually it's late teens, early 20s before they'll reach their full size. Uh, so Tucker still has a handful of years left to grow, but he's already over 10,000 pounds. Uh, so he could gain another couple thousand pounds. adult uh, male Asian elephants are going to be somewhere between usually 10 to 13,000 pounds. Our adult females are uh, all about seven or 8,000, so they're slightly smaller. One thing the uh, boys here really like to do that you may not see as much in the cow yard is they really like to spar and rough house with each other. And that's a natural behavior, helps uh, them learn dominance and how to defend themselves if they would uh, in the wild be competing for, uh, be competing with other males for food or companionship. Uh, so Tracy asked how many males we have in total. Uh, so right here in front of us right now, we have three of our males. Uh, we are now up to six males total. Uh, I already mentioned our uh, adult bull Thailand. And then we also have um, two younger males that are still hanging out in the cow yard with their moms. Uh, we have Nelson, who is a little over a year old. And then our newest addition, Teddy, who was just born in May.
So Laura asks who uh, Winnie's father is. Uh, since Tupelo here is related to uh, every single male that we have here at the zoo, uh, we had to uh, kind of outsource a bit. And uh, we worked with Denver Zoo and they were able to um, collect on their male Bodhi for us. And we trained Tupelo for artificial insemination. And so we had a lot of firsts for us here uh, with uh, Winnie's birth in March. So her dad is uh, Bodhi over at the Denver Zoo. Uh, so we have a question, what are their favorite fruits? Um, so they all have their own individual favorite foods, but um, watermelon, uh, cantaloupe, those are gonna be some of their um, favorite things that we um, use on more rare occasions. Um, these guys are all trained for voluntary uh, blood draw, so that's something we do every week to monitor um, both the females' progesterone as well as um, all the younger ones monitor their health and um, screen them for uh, EEHV, which is something that can be very fatal and affects uh, wild elephants and elephants here at the zoo as well. Um, so uh, they get cantaloupe for blood drawn because uh, it's the most high reward for them. Uh, so someone asked, do they sleep standing or lying down? Uh, the answer is yes. <laughs> um, usually the adults during the day, you might see them standing up and uh, resting their trunk, not really moving at all with their eyes closed, uh, they're taking a little cat nap. Uh, usually you'll see the younger ones will lay down during the day to nap. Uh, usually they'll use an adult as a shade structure for them. Um, but for the most part, these guys will all lay down for about three or four hours at a time uh, at night to sleep. They can't really lay down for extended periods of time because of their um, big size and weight. Usually these boys won't really take naps during the day. They're kind of afraid that they would miss out on something else that the others are getting. Uh, so someone wanted to know how we can help save these guys in the wild. And uh, one of the easiest things that you can do is come see them here at the zoo um, or, you know, support your local zoo in general if you're not from Houston. Um, we have uh, many conservation partners throughout the world that help save not only elephants, but most other species of animals. So you're, uh, a portion of your ticket is going to go towards those conservation efforts in the wild. So we're going to let these guys get uh, back to their uh, snack time here. And so we want to thank you for tuning in. Uh, join us next Wednesday for our Facebook Live at 11 a.m. and come see us at the zoo.